Hello and welcome. My name is Stuart Long, commercial cookery trainer here at Stanley College. And what we're going to do now is work through our virtual cookbook and I'm going to show everyone how to bone a chicken as we do it here at Stanley College. First thing you will need is a chicken, which I have right here. We'll also need a yellow board because all raw poultry should be processed on a yellow colour coated chopping board. I also have here a boning knife. You notice the shape dips down, easy handling for boning. Boning knife. I also have my chef's knife. And of course I have my steel to hone my knives to make sure they're nice and sharp while I'm doing my preparation. When I bone the chicken, the first thing that we do is I'm going to take off the legs and the thigh of the chicken. So I make an incision at the top in between the breast and the drumstick. As you can see, I've just cut it open like so. Then, just with my hand, I can bend the leg back and the thigh bone pops out. With my knife, I follow around that thigh bone, around the edge of the carcass, and I take off the first leg. So I get my knife in, I follow around the carcass, with my bonding knife, and there I've taken off the first leg. I do exactly the same thing to the other side to remove that leg. Make a little incision, I can then pull it back with my hands, bone pops out, and then I follow it round with my knife to take out the thigh. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the breasts. Now you can remove the breasts with the wingtips intact, or you can remove the breasts off the wingtips. I like to keep the wingtips on my breasts. Down the middle here, we'll feel a little rich. With our boning knife, we go just to one side of that little ridge and cut all the way down to the rib cage. Once you feel that rib cage, we then follow it along with our boning knife as you can see what I've done there. At the tip, the top end of the breast, you can feel with your finger a little join. That's the join of the wing to the breast. And all we need to do is get our knife and we can just slice straight through that, like so. That's the breast with the wing on. I'll do the same to the other side. Follow it down, follow the rib cage. Cut through the little bone, that the wing is attached. And then there's my second breast with the wing tip on. Here is the carcass. We keep this for making chicken stock, chicken soup as well. With the wings, we can remove the little, called aerolons at the top here, aerolons, ailerons. And I just remove that off like so. Straight through the knife with the joint. That too can go in to make chicken stock. So now I have the breast, two breasts with the wings attached, and I have legs and thighs together as well. Now, if you want to remove the drumstick from the thigh, very easy. We go through where we see the joint of the two bones, which is just there. I get my knife and I just cut straight through that joint. What I'm left with is the drumstick and the thigh itself. With the thigh, we can then remove the thigh bone. And to do that, I get my knife and I just give little cuts either side of the actual thigh bone to expose the bone a bit more. Then I get my knife, I slide in and underneath, cut through the top, I cut through the bottom, 
bowl has been removed, we can keep that for stock and there is our chicken thigh with no bone. Drumstick. Now for the breast. If you would like to remove the wing from the breast, you can do so now. I turn mine over, I can see the bone is there, and just with my knife, I cut around that bone and I'm left with the wing tips. From there, I cut straight down, bend it back, till you hear a little crack. That's just broken the two bones together there, and I slice through here like so. And I'm left with the two pieces of wing, and a chicken breast, my chicken thigh, and my chicken leg. From here, with the thigh and the breast, you can remove the skin if that's what you want to do. That's very simple, just with your hands, pull the skin off, and it should come off nice and easy like so. Same with the breast. So now we have a skinless thigh, a skinless breast, we have the two wingtips, we have the drumstick and the skin. The skin can also go in with the chicken stock. From here we can do a range of different recipes with our breast, our thigh, our drumstick and our chicken wings. So that's how you bone a chicken, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much and stay tuned for the next episode of how to prepare food through our virtual cookbook here at Stanley College. Thank you very much. See you next time.